Hello, Mango EX2 here. Let's talk about piracy. If you don't know what piracy is, it's the unauthorized use or reproduction of another person's work. If you're around my age, you no doubt remember this commercial. We have been told that piracy is evil and equivalent to other serious crimes like robbery and Grand Theft Auto. And well, it's not. Truthfully, I'm anti-piracy, and I know that's relatively contradictory based on my thumbnail and title, but hear me out. I might be anti-piracy, but I am more so pro-consumer. I believe that the consumer should have the best experience possible, whether that is pirating content or paying for the official service. But we have gotten to the point where piracy is providing a better experience than the paid services. If you wanted to watch your one favorite show, you have to pay a premium. If if you're in the minority of people who are fortunate enough to have all their shows in one place, congratulations. But for the rest of us normal people, we are forced to find ways to access multiple streaming services whether by paying or pirating because there is very little actual competition in the industry and I'll explain that further later in the video. We are at the point where there are so many services that if you were going to pay for some of the largest ones, that price would be rivaling that of cable when these platforms were supposed to be a cheaper alternative to cable. Think about this. In the cable market, there was at least some semblance of competition. Competition is non-existent in streaming services. You're probably thinking something like this. What the hell are you talking about? How are there all of these streaming services, but they're not in competition with each other? And that's a very good question. I appreciate you asking that because it helps me continue the video and make further points. I appreciate that. So let me explain. To be in competition, there has to be a choice being made between the different services by the consumer. The majority of people pick the services they subscribe to based on the shows that are present on the platform. If you want to watch Stranger Things, you pay for Netflix. If you want to watch The Boys, you pay for Prime Video. These choices are often not made because of the quality of the service that's built around the shows, but the fact that those shows only exist on specific streaming platforms. So multiple streaming services coexist, but they are not in competition with each other. The overwhelming majority of people pay for more than one streaming service, but that isn't even the worst issue. If you pay for Netflix's premium option at $22.99 a month, you'll get access to the 4K option for streaming content, except you will not be able to watch the content in 4K, even though you paid for it on PC. I hook it up and I notice this looks really bad. It's not just that it is low resolution and low bit rate, it's just a bad looking stream. And I realize that there's a cheat code you could do on Netflix apparently where you control shift alt D. And when you hit control shift alt D, what you see is that you are actually getting a low bit rate 720p stream, even though you paid for 4K. Are they actually ruining the experience for somebody who's using a computer because they want you to use closed source platforms that give you more control? He goes on to explain that Netflix throttles your stream if you are not streaming their content on proprietary software. Examples of proprietary software include Xboxes, Playstations, and most smart TVs, and a fair amount of smartphones, things that are usually harder to modify than a PC. Obviously, this is an anti-piracy measure, but when your anti-piracy measure hurts the paying customer, you incentivize piracy. Another huge issue is content ownership. When you purchase something on a streaming platform or storefront, you do not own it. If a company decides that they are no longer going to host the content that you paid for, you lose access to it. We almost saw this with a PlayStation Discovery Channel situation, and we are currently seeing it happen with a Crunchyroll Funimation situation. Crunchyroll and Funimation are merging, meaning the Funimation app is being sunset. So some of the content that people purchased on the Funimation app, they will lose access to. If pain is not owning, then piracy is not stealing. So what should streaming services do? They should provide a better experience than piracy. They should not punish paying customers with the intent to thwart piracy. Now, you will never be able to beat free. That's a fact. And as long as there is a free alternative, a fair amount of people will always choose that option, whether it's to save money or because they don't support a company's practices. But this issue is not just exclusive to streaming services. It affects gaming too. 
Denuvo is a anti-tamper and anti-piracy software used in games ranging from the Borderlands series to the Resident Evil remakes to the Monster Hunter series. And it has been proven beyond all doubt that Denuvo anti-tamper negatively affects game performance, although it's claimed that it doesn't. This has been proven in multiple AAA games. Gamers can universally agree upon, especially PC gamers, it's that Denuvo sucks. I mean, it's this DRM software that aims to try to mitigate piracy and whatnot, but it often comes at the sacrifice of performance and it's just a solution that has enough compromises where it's just not worth its implementation. They straight up are releasing a worse version of a game with Denuvo than, you know, the pirated version because the pirated version removes the Denuvo DRM and actually runs better as a result. I don't want to bore you any more than I already have with my endless yapping. So the TLDR is that when someone downloads a cracked game that uses the Nuvo anti-tamper software, they are likely getting a better experience for free than the paying customer gets after buying that game at full price. And I'm not going to imply that this is an issue that affects all games because there are only a handful of AAA publishers using Denuvo, but there are still AAA publishers using Denuvo. Anti-piracy measures in gaming have not had a substantial impact on gaming as a whole because most games, at least games released recently, are free to play. So there is no cracked version of Fortnite to download because you don't pay for Fortnite, at least most aspects of Fortnite. But regardless of medium, Paying customers should not get a worse experience than someone pirating content. So what's the solution? Should we all start pirating content? Maybe. Should people continue to pay for a service even if they are getting a compromised experience? No. But the truth is, some people don't care. Paying a premium for a service is a more enjoyable experience than clicking off of a few pop-up ads every episode for a fair amount of people. And I can't criticize that. Although I would like to add that some people paying that premium are still getting the ads on their episodes, but I don't judge. Personally, I will continue to pirate things until I am able to buy content and own it not purchase indefinite access until the host decides that they are no longer going to host the content I paid for. 